welcome back to cooking with ash i trust everyone is doing good and you guys are all staying safe today's recipe is going to be some delicious cassava ball that's right guys we're going to be preparing some yummy yummy cassava ball and we're jazzing it up a little bit and this simply my take on how i prepare my cassava ball i don't like it to be bland i always you know jazz it up and spice it up a little bit so the ingredients we will be using to prepare our cassava ball is of course cassava and i am using the frozen cassava it tastes exactly the same as the fresh cassava without the work guys um it's already peeled they took off the middle string that is in the cassava so um all that is like cutting my time from preparing my cassava and you get more for your box in the sense that the cassava is already peeled so you're not paying for the skin we usually discard the skin anyways so i would highly recommend um you guys if you have frozen cassava in the country that you're living do give it a try as it's make it's making your job way easier than regular cassava then you have to buy it and peel it take off the middle string this is the goya brand i'm using guys and that's what it's saying yuca or cassava and this is what it's looking like i'll open the bag and show you guys what it's looking like so you just keep it in your um refrigerator frozen and when you're ready for it you know you just grab it but this is what it's looking like it's already frozen here as you can see they took off the middle string that is here it's peeled so convenient and so easy okay guys so the next ingredient we will be using is some scallion. I have here some red bell pepper and I'm using some cilantro. The one egg, I'm going to be using the egg to batter the cassava in and the cassava ball in to fry it along with a pack of Cezanne and the Cezanne helps with the color of the, you know, the coloring of the um, cassava ball. Also, it helps with the flavor. I have here some salt. I am using some sugar and I have here some of my green seasoning so let's get to it guys my water is already on the stove so we're gonna head on over there and put these cassava to start boiling here we have some water boiling i'm gonna go ahead and add my salt i always salt my water and i'm gonna go ahead and start um, dropping our cassava so the bag that i bought it's about five pounds so i'm trying to like to do like about a pound here I'm just going to average. So that's it, guys. We're going to let this um, come up and boil. And then I'm going to show you the texture we're looking for to pull our cassava off this, the stove. So while our cassava is boiling on the stove, I am going to go ahead and prepare our batter. And, and so you basically don't have to do a batter if you don't want to um, put this in a batter because you can just roll your cassava ball just like that and put it in the oil and it would fry without no batter it wouldn't fall apart or any sort of that because you know cassava holds its its firmness and texture so it wouldn't fall apart in the oil or you can make a batter i love to do the batter in the sense it gives the cassava ball you know a beautiful color outside and it looks prettier for presentation purposes you can also um do this batter that i'm doing there are many different batters you can do to coat your cassava ball in um, i'm simply doing today um with the egg and the saison and that is going to give it a beautiful color. You can do egg. If you don't have Cezanne, you can do egg with coloring. You can also add a little bit of flour to it. That's another way. Or you can just do egg and roll it into breadcrumbs and fry it too. That's another fancy way. So whatever you prefer, however you prefer, if you prefer the traditional way of not putting it into any batter and just fry it as it is, feel free to do that. Try it this way or try it any of the other way I mentioned. So um, I, starting of the video, I said I was going to do one egg but i went ahead and do two eggs because i want to get enough batter when i'm frying and not run out of batter you know so basically what you do you just beat up your egg whisk it up give it a good whisk and i'm gonna go ahead now and add my saison here and if you don't have access to saison add food color in here to give it that rich color
Look at that, guys. It's so vibrant. <laughs> And like I mentioned, I am jazzing up my cassava ball. This is how I like mine. If you love the traditional way, you do not have to do all this step. You do not have to add the um, cilantro, the red bell peppers, you, and the sugar and stuff like that. You can just do your basic um, green seasoning and your scallion and you're gonna have beautiful cassava ball. But um, believe me, the way I'm doing it, jazzing it up, it do make a difference in it and it tastes so much more better so you know if you never tried it open up your mind and give recipes you know experiment with recipes because you never know what what your outcome is going to be sometimes you try something different and you end up loving it so our battery here is ready as soon as the cassava is ready i'm going to show you guys the next step Okay guys, so it's been about six minutes now and I think my cassava is ready and a great indication as you can see, it's already falling apart. For the bigger pieces, you wanna test it. So I just grab a knife and make sure, you know, as long as the knife go through and it comes out back clean, you're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain this and then we're going to go ahead and mash our cassava up. Okay guys, so we're gonna start to break down the cassava. You can use um, a potato masher or anything you have on hand to break it down. The easiest way for me is this way. I usually put it on my cutting board and um, take the back of my knife and mash it. And um, sometimes string do, the middle string do, um, they do, um, they, didn't, they don't take all of it out. So sometimes you still have some here. So this is the easiest way to mash it and make sure we get all the strings because you don't want when you're eating the cassava, you find those big, long, messy strings inside. So this is like a, an easy way to do it. Or you could take the fork and um, just mash it up. And you can see how easy the cassava is um, breaking down. The cassava boil really, really nice and soft. You never really have issues. So this is a good example of, you know, a piece of the middle string is here. So this is why I prefer to do it this way. I can use my potato smasher or masher and break it down with that too. But I prefer to do it this way as I catch all little fine strings or whatever is in the cassava here, any hard lumpy piece. But um, usually what I notice when I buy the frozen cassava, you never have problems with it that the cassava doesn't boil and stuff like that. So in my bowl over here, I went ahead and add my red bell peppers, my sugar, my cilantro, green seasoning, and the scallion. And I'm going to directly add the cassava that I break down into here. So I'm gonna finish up this step and then we're gonna proceed to the second step. So this is what our mashed up cassava is looking like. I'm gonna go in with my clean hands and I'm gonna combine everything together. You wanna incorporate this well, mix everything in well. Ooh, and it's smelling so good, guys. Smelling and looking beautiful. And you can go ahead and taste it now to make sure that I have enough salt. Remember, I salt the water, so make sure you want to make sure I have enough salt right now. Go ahead and taste a piece if you would like. Okay, guys, perfect. Everything is mixed in, so now we're going to start forming our cassava ball and basically you're just getting a piece and this is about a tablespoon I grab in my hand here I'm just arvaging and you want to roll it out like that roll it into pretty round balls I'm going to show you guys another and when your cassava is not sticky and stuff like that and it's rolling nice in your hand you know you have the perfect cassava there and a nice consistency so I'm gonna keep on doing these, finish them up, and then we're gonna start frying them. Okay guys, so we have our oil heating up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping our cassava ball into our batter here that I created. 
and I'm gonna start dropping them into the oil so I do about six seven eight however big your pan is do not overcrowd your pan you want to give them a nice roll inside shake off any excess batter on it and drop them in and you see that that whatever is floating up that is from the um, the egg you know you want to scoop that out when you get a minute to scoop it out just want to scoop that out and discard it and you want to rotate so the um, cassava ball don't have any hot spot at the bottom and we're looking for a nice golden brown color here and as soon as we achieve that I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out Look at this guys it's looking so beautiful already so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these babies out of the oil as they're ready look at the beautiful color we achieved guys nice and golden brown cooked to perfection and that is what you're looking for i have a pan um, lined with paper towel i'm gonna go ahead and drop these on the pan to get rid of any excess oil and as i mentioned another way to fry them too is just by dropping them directly into the oil as it is without no batter or anything like that I'm going to do one so you guys see that process, what it looks like. So the ones that are rolled in batter they fry faster than the one that doesn't have any batter it takes longer to achieve like you know that beautiful golden brown color and I'm gonna show you guys and we must admit the ones that rolled in batter look so beautiful you know got a nice rich golden brown color plus it has like that nice flavor from the saison This is the one that we dropped so far without no batter and it still needs to fry more it still needs to get golden brown these are almost ready and we dropped the one without the batter before these so it's just an example of you know how quickly and the ones that are battered fry comparing to the one that is not so i'm gonna go ahead and take these out now let's give them a little bit more give them that nice golden brown color so this one here is i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out now too guys so this is the color that it's it's gonna get you can leave it there to sit 
um, to get more brown the one that is not battered but um, eventually it's going to explode so this is why I prefer to batter them and fry them rather than just drop them in the oil like that it takes longer one it takes longer and um, two if you leave it too too long it's going to explode it's going to start you know swell up and explode whereas these achieve the most beautiful golden brown color and it fries faster and it's looking delicious so i'm gonna plate these up and we're going to break into it and let you guys see what it's looking like inside and here you have it guys it's all plated up our delicious cassava balls look at them guys looking so 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 good i went ahead and cut open these and as you can see i already drizzled some nice spicy mango sour on these of course i will put the link in the description box below with all the ingredients used and measurement and i will also insert the link for my mango sour there for you guys if you want to try it and um, let me know in the comment below how do you what you serve yours with um do you like mango sour do you prefer tamarind sour or chutney or whatever however you serve yours up with leave it in the comment below so let us know so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe please feel free to like it leave a comment below share it with your friends and family and if you enjoy the recipe that you see here today and you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do consider subscribing thank you guys so much for joining me in the kitchen sending you guys my love bye